Hi friends, my name is Megan and welcome to my 23rd floss tube video. Um, this is a channel that is mostly about cross stitch, but I do enjoy sharing the other crafts that I love. Um, sometimes I'll have some crochet or some sewing or quilting, um, some embroidery, I did diamond painting once, you know, who knows. <laughs> um, and I do like to get that out of the way at the beginning of my episode, so if that's not something that you're into, you can always fast forward just a few minutes. It does, never takes very long. I do have some crochet to show you today. Um, if you are returning, thank you for coming back to spend some time with me. And if you are new, welcome. Um, I know there are quite a few uh, new friends here with me now. Um, and I want to take a moment right here at the beginning to say a few thank yous. Um, first to Michelle Bendy Sidji, thank you so much for your very um, kind shout out. <laughs> um, very, very sweet, thank you. Also to uh, Stephanie, who is Lindy Stitches. She shouted me out on her Instagram, and I know some of you came from there. And also from Amanda Alba Stitcher, who I had not watched, um, but I have now subscribed to and can't wait to check out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all for being here with me today. Okay, <laughs> um, it's a super dreary, gross day weekend here in Maryland so I do have an extra light set up um I know there's I'm getting some glare on my glasses but I'd rather you know you see things <laughs> and I know you're not here to see my face so um what else has been going on um Quentin is good mm, school should be wrapping up soon Aaron is good uh regular um the dog is good she's six months old now and um crazy so sweet but definitely crazy the cats are good uh they one of them's right down there um they still don't mess with the dog even though the dog really really wants <laughs> to hang out with them um i've been all right i've been pretty crazy work i, I feel like i'm always like oh work is crazy work is crazy um so I am a buyer for a broadline food service distributor. So basically I buy the things that we sell to restaurants and grocery stores and things like that. And I thought that last year this job was hard, <laughs> but everything shut down and nobody knew what was going on and manufacturers were shutting down because they, you know, had to. <laughs> um, but this year has been way, way, way harder. Nobody, nobody was ready for the world to kind of reopen again, especially food service manufacturers. Um, so it's just been a real struggle, you know, on their end with production and labor and our end on being able to find the things that our customers need. Um, that has been truly challenging. I'm also the oil buyer for our company so I buy all of the commodity oils um this way being oil the you know, canola oils all the all the oils that restaurants use um and the oil market has been wild <laughs> uh so it's just it's very stressful um but this is a uh three-day weekend here in America it's a Memorial Day weekend and I will be um hosting a very small gathering here outside for the first time since everything happened. Um, and I, I'm excited to be able to spend some time with my family. So I think that's it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling a little like out of it today. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. I have a lot to talk to you about. Like I said, I've got a little bit of crochet. I have some whips, some finishes, some starts and finishes. Um, whips are works in progress. Um, I have some fully finished items, FFOs. I have um, my giveaway winner. And as always, I have what came in the mail. So let's get started. All right, I have started and completed two shawls since the last time I saw you. Um, the first one that I did um, I stitched it, crocheted it, in a neighborhood fiber co yarn in the color, this one, Sandy Point. Neighborhood fiber 
Faber Co. They are a Baltimore dyer. And this pattern comes from Annie Design Crochet and it's called Copper Beach. Here it is. These are, um, she has many different patterns, but she has uh, quite a few one skein um, shawl patterns and I've now made three of them and I really, really enjoy them. Um, they're all pretty simple four row repeats. Um, and I like it a lot. Now this is not like colors that I normally wear, so I don't know what I'll do with it, but it was a lot of fun to make. Um, the next one was also in Neighborhood Fiberco uh, yarn. This is their, I'm sorry, the Rustic Fingering and in the color Shami. Also by Annie Design Crochet, this is the Flora Shawl. These were fun spring colors. Again, not really my colors that I normally wear, but um, fun to make. I have also started one more. <laughs> this is the Frond Shawl by Joanne Scrace. Um, I think that's how you say that. With the Crochet Project. Um, they are out of England, I believe. Um, so it tripped me up a little bit at first because UK terminology and uh, American terminology is different, but once I got started and got myself figured out, it's been going great. I'm using this Shirsty Cat Designs um, DK Weight yarn and detour around that sea monster. It's beautiful. I finished one skein. I've got to cake this up to do my next. Oh, if you hear the dog barking, I'm sorry. She's outside. <laughs> with Aaron, and here's where it's at. So that's one down, got this cute little edge to it. One down, super squishy, super fun. All right, on to the stitching. So the last time I talked to you, I was working on the Cat's Reflection Sampler by Peruvian Flare on Etsy as part of the Peruvian Cat Sale on Instagram. And this is the uh, cover picture. And this was super, super fun. I really, really enjoyed working on this. I stitched it on this 20 count something. This was the tag that was on the fabric. It was nice. I think it's 100% cotton. And I stitched it using Silks For You PR142, which is this pretty rainbow color. And then Sulky uh, 1240 and 1005, because um, I wanted them to look like my cats. Here is my finish. So this cat looks like Blue Kitty, this cat looks like Dingus, and this cat looks like Mittens because she's tiny. So that's super cute. I don't know if I'm gonna frame it or if I'll make it into like a big pillow or what, I'm not sure yet, but really enjoyed that. I did sign up for um, the next, next stitch along that she's doing, it's um, this, these birds on this beautiful red fabric. I'm excited about that. That will be starting Tuesday, maybe? I think. Soon. It will be starting soon. <clears throat> so when I was finished with that, I um, was really feeling like working on Garden Vegetables by Kathy Merrick. And I had intended to make some really good progress, um, but I did not. Um, I got distracted by several things, which you will be seeing shortly. So previously, before I picked this up, I had this whole side done, and I had basically this top corner done. I've got most of this lady done, and I had halfway 
with the grid and all the words. I am stitching this on uh, 36 count raw natural linen using a variety of flosses from my stash. Um, there are a couple of called for DMCs, but this is these are all ones that I picked. And here is where I got. Here's the whole thing so far. And so I added in um, pretty much everything on this side over here. So I've got the start of all of the lines for the grid. Um, and I was marking in here. I might put this back on my Q-snap. I'm not sure. I'm feeling, I'm feeling in like a little bit of a slump with my stitching right now. Like I want to work on all of my whips because I love all of my whips, but I also don't want to work on any of my whips. And I also want to start all the things, but then I also don't want to start all the things because I want to work on my whips. So I don't know. I'm not sure if this will be the, um, the next thing I pull out, or if I'm gonna work on this again some more right now, or if I'm going to put it away again for a little while. I really like to have it done. I've got a space above my um, TV in my uh, living room where I would like to hang this, so but I can't hang it up if I don't stitch it, right? All right, so I was working on that, and like I said, I got distracted. Um, I had this project ready to go um, as a gift um for some friends it's actually the people that we got our doll cora from and this is bent creek quaker home let your lives speak and so i started and finished this this was a super quick stitch i took a couple days off of work and um in like two days i think i stitched a bunch in like two days i <laughs> i did this um I stitched this on a piece of 32 count prairie dust by Color and Cotton. And I didn't, I don't think I brought the flosses over. It was just, like again, I just pulled stuff um, out of my stash. I changed up the colors to go more with their kitchen. That's how Aaron originally met them. He um, was hired to help redo their kitchen. And that's where he goes and works on Sundays. And they have since become friends, um, which is pretty cool. So here is my finish. It was cute and fun and small. And I enjoyed it a lot. I guess their kitchen cabinets are kind of um, like this bluey color. Aaron helped me pick them so that they would match. So that was fun. I'll have to uh, get that framed up to give to them. Uh, and then I stitched another gift after that. I had been catching up with uh, Brenda and Laura, Brendel and the Serial Starter, and they showed this project and I serial started it. <laughs> um, the project um, is Hands Across the Sea Sampler, Emily Ann Foster, 1892. And that is what the original looked like and as soon as I saw them show this I said I have to have to stitch that because my sister is an Emily Ann and I'd never seen an Emily Ann sampler before so I stitched that on a piece of 40 count warm sienna also by color and cotton cats come I got a cat right here cat right there. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> They're excited because the dog's outside. I stitched it in two colors, uh, Sister Scarlet and in the burgundy. Hi, Bookie. And sorry, I don't know what he's going to do. Um, and I finished it and I FFO'd it. And we're going to have some glare between the sliding glass door over here and the light over there which my kitty is checking out <laughs> this is a, i'm sorry guys this is a mess anyways here's my finish <laughs> i did make a change 
Um, over here it said on the original God is love and I changed it to say for my sister and I put her initials in the year. The smitten. She's naughty. Back to this. So that's how that turned out. I got this frame from Tammy's Elegant Frames. Now I found her on Etsy. Uh, this is a seven by seven uh, frame. I found her on Etsy, but then when she um, sent the frame, which came super fast, I ordered it on a Sunday. It was here on a Tuesday. She listed her website, www.tammyselegantframes.com. Their new store and a little coupon code. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to see, oh, see I haven't finished the back yet. <laughs> I, um, I'm hoping to see my sister soon. I haven't seen her since February, I guess, of last year. So I'm hoping that next month we'll be able to get together. And I can give that to her in person. All right, the last thing that I worked on that I have to show you today is a new start. This is Amos Fig 1808 by Plum Street Samplers. That's what Amos is to look like. I am stitching this with Tabitha, um, who is Cats and Craft on Instagram. Uh, last year we stitched Tilly Fig together, and this year we decided, last year we started it on May 17th because it's the date on the tombstone, and we both finished it, and so we decided this year we were going to start Amos together and stitch him on May 17th as well. So I started that. Go on, Bookie. <laughs> I, I am stitching them both on one piece of Honey Amber 32 Count by Seraphim Hand Dyed. I am using um, floss from my stash again. These are close to the DMCs. Uh, there was one one floss I did not have enough of, um, and that was Old Beggar by Extra Design. I have this much of my old skein. I did have a second skein, but it is um, this is much lighter, so they're not same same. But I think that's okay. And so here is where I got. On old Amos. I worked at the top, started in the middle, worked my way up to the top, working on those um, angels. And here on the other side is Tilly. So I enjoyed that an awful lot. That was hard to, <laughs> to put down. All right. So let's move on to FFOs. And before I do um, like kind of your standard finishes, I did one thing that was a little bit different. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I finished uh, Mother and Child by Arengo Originals. And Aaron said that he would like to have a picture of the back, a copy of the back. So this is the front. And that's the back and so I took that to I guess it was a FedEx store and I had them make a copy of the back form and I again I know it's glare also my table is really squeaky anyways so I put it in, oh, I need to clean that glass. <laughs> I put it in this uh, floating, floating frame. And I think that turned out pretty cool. And he likes it and I like it. And um, when I frame the cross stitch, that's gonna go upstairs, but this one uh, I actually have hanging on the wall right over here. So I don't know, so why not celebrate your backside, right? <laughs> All right, so what framing did I do? The first piece that I did is Sampler Sisters of the Thread by the Printed Needle. Go back a little bit for this. She's pretty big. I stitched this back in 
2018 um, as part of a stitch along with some very lovely ladies. Um, and this was a piece of 32 count fabric from a color and cotton Halloween box, I think. Um, and I chose my own colors and I love it. I love how it looks. Uh, it's going to hang I, either in my sewing room upstairs or right outside of the door. I haven't decided yet. But we did the little corner bits on this one too. And I love it. And I'm happy to have it done. My, I didn't pile my stuff up very well over here. I might have a little bit of a situation in a minute. Uh, the next one is As the Crow Flies by Prairie Schooler. This one um, is not straight. <laughs> and I, I don't, I'm not a very patient person. And I got so mad at this and I was like, had to put it down for a while. Um, but then I was really thinking about it and, you know, I did the smaller piece from this pattern book too. And that one is also not straight. So really they just go together like this. <laughs> so that's as the crow flies. This next one is Sisters of the Broom by Not Forgotten Farm. I love this one. I have, I hung it with, um, in my living room, I have a little area with a bunch of different Not Forgotten Farm uh, pieces that I've stitched. I have um, Oldwick Burying Ground, Widow's Weeds, and Weep Not up there. And then I have this one hanging up there as well. So it's kind of like a blue wash that I did on the frame. It's pretty good. next one is another primitive needle this is I think called live simply I did this one um, this one and another one that I'm gonna show you I did last like March into April when everything was like shutting down and crazy and this brought me a lot of peace and comfort while I was working on that this one this one was actually done in all the called for colors that. Two more. I framed uh, Forever Young for my son, even though he's 16 right now, so he doesn't really want this up in his room, and I don't think that really fits his aesthetic. <laughs> so I have it hanging here in the dining room. Um, this is also not straight, but I just, you know. I had to get to a point where I was like, it's it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. I feel like I go on the it's not straight uh, rambles every time I show you things I frame. <laughs> but I'm really happy with that one and how that came out. And one more, and this is my favorite. This is We Live in Hope by Blackbird Design. I think this might be my favorite thing I ever stitched. Mm. I think it's maybe the most beautiful thing I ever stitched. I love this so much. I'm really happy with how the frame turned out. Um, I think it's beautiful. It. I had to do a little bit of rearranging over on my Chesapeake Bay wall to get this to fit, um, but I'm really happy with how that turned out too. So. I just want to look at it forever. <laughs> I love it so much. All right. So that is all of my, uh, all my stitching, my finishes, my crochet. So up next we have the giveaway. Yay. <clears throat> so just to remind you, I had, um, I did a giveaway where you could pick one of three charts. Uh, the options were Thankful Wheeler by The Good Huswife, As the Crow Flies by Prairie Schooler, and Quaker Gone Poe by Michelle Inc. 
Um, and to go along with that, I made a project bag and it's got a bunch of goodies in it. And there were 68 entries into the giveaway. Um, and ultimately I decided that instead of saving the other two charts for a future giveaway, I would go ahead and give those away right now as well. So the first name that I chose, I used the, I wrote down all the names and uh, numbered them and used the random number generator. And so the winner of the project bag and all the goodies, um, along with the thankful wheeler chart is Daisy K Primitives. So yay. <laughs> Um, I will comment on your comment and, um, you can either, I can put my email address, you can either email me or get with me on Instagram and give me your address and I will get that out in the mail to you. Um, so I spun it again after that and the next number that it picked was number 25, which was Arctic Design, Miss Amanda May, and she won Quaker Gone Poe. Um, and she said that... When she first saw this, she got a little discouraged because of the floss list, but now that she feels that she could definitely convert it. And this, absolutely. Like, as you can see, I feel like almost every project that I have, I, I'm like, oh, I pick colors. You can absolutely convert colors. Um, like, when I did mine here, I've got mine here. It's, uh, excuse it, state, please. It's in the process. <laughs> um, I changed all the colors. I, I didn't use any. It's only three colors, and I didn't use a single one. So, uh, and Amanda does amazing work, so I have no doubt that she's going to pick some really awesome colors for this. But Miss Amanda May, this will be coming to you. I believe I do have your address, so I can get that in the mail to you. And then I spun one more time, and it landed on 39, which is Kathy, the Crafty Cat Stitcher. You will be receiving this uh, as the crow flies. So, that was super fun. Um, I loved all of your comments. They were all great. Thank you all for participating, and I can't wait to do another one because that was that was really cool. Last thing I have for you today is what has come in the mail. And I don't feel like it's that much. Just a lot of fabric. I am in two Fabric of the Month clubs. I am in the Fortnite Fabrics. I think it's called the 12 Shades of Grey, maybe. Their monthly fabric. I get a 36 count linen. And I actually have two months here to show you. The first one, the color is Sylvain. Well, that's, that's pretty blown out. <laughs> but very nice. And the next one that just came is called uh well they were end dragon on here but i was invoiced for neutered dragon oh. this one's pretty this is much obviously much busier than the first one but i like it i can definitely find something nice to do on that my color and cotton came this is the april uh, fabric of the month, and this is called Spiced Honey in a 40 count. Oh, it is uh, much richer than the color that you're seeing. It's really, really, really pretty. All right. Uh, I placed an order with Jen Stitching Niche because she got in some picture of this plus fabrics and whenever she does I like to go over and support her and get myself some of them um, and try to get some different colors that I don't already have. This first one is a 36 count barn wood which in real life is more like purples and blues. That's really pretty. 36 count ancient which I don't I don't maybe I didn't know what ancient looked like this is not what I thought it was going to look like I like it but it was not what I thought it was going to look like that's fine I always get myself a piece of murky when I can and this is in a 36 count oh I really like that piece I like that a lot Mm 
This is 36 count oaken. And lastly, 36 count and balm. So these are all very pretty. Um, I placed an order with Kitten Stitcher because I get her um, newsletter and she was like, hey, I got this new Moda um, fabric in and it, you know, has little X's on it, like little cross stitch. Wouldn't that be cute as pajama pants? And I was like, yes, it'd be cute as pajama pants. And so I got some and I made myself pajama pants. <laughs> I didn't bring them because they were in the wash because I wear them because they're super comfy. I'd never uh, made anything like that before and I watched like... Um, I watched some tutorials and I looked at, you know, some patterns and um, I ultimately just kind of did the, I just did it. I just kind of made it up as I went the best I could. Um, and they're a little too big, but they're pajamas. So like, whatever, who cares? And if uh, next time I go to a stitching retreat, you will see me wear them. <laughs> but this is the fabric. Really cute. I was really proud of myself for doing that. I, I think I mentioned before that I... I've been thinking about trying to learn how to make clothes. So like I made some clothes. I feel pretty proud. Um, I also picked up a piece of 36 count old brown, which is an extrude design. A nice big piece of that. That is very blown out. <laughs> I don't know if it'll... It's kind of like a uh, sagey green in the brown, really pretty. I love her linen. This, uh, that is 272 words, um, by Primrose Needle Arts, Needleworks, I think, uh, and that was stitched on, uh, Grandpa's Sleeve by Extra Design, and working through that pro project, I absolutely fell in love with her linen. All right, next I placed an order with Top Knot stitcher shop um and i got myself the flosses for ink circles after the roses so i already had this pattern but i got the flosses for it which are really pretty she had all of them in stock except for one i think she was having a sale maybe so i got those and what brought me there to begin with was this pattern which is the tiny modernist moon phase bell pool which i think is gorgeous i have a little tiny moon phases over on that wall that i cross stitched and one that i embroidered um i love the moon uh my mom used to text me and my sisters whenever the moon um was really beautiful to tell us to go look at it and since she's passed away i I do sometimes text my sisters that, but it's just, it's not the same. It's not the same when it's not from mom. So the moon makes me think of her and I love it. And I was so amped to start this, which as you can see, I have not yet, um, that it only calls for four colors and I didn't have two of them. So I ordered them <laughs> and then they came and I was like, okay, I've got that 32 count uh, charcoal Lugano that I stitched um, Moon Garden and Sitting Pretty on. I have the remnant of that and I'll put it on there, but it absolutely did not fit on the piece that I had. Uh, this is bigger than I thought it was. Um, on 16 count, it would have been 32. It would be four by 18 inches, which is totally fine. So I ordered a piece, of, a new piece of 32 count charcoal Lugana from Sandra Stitch Stash. She, uh, often has sales so I ordered this a nice big piece uh, 36 by 27 because I like that a lot but then I got um, this piece of seraphim hand dyed fabric this is Timberwolf in 36 count and I think I'm gonna use this instead I think that the moons will look super cool against this background which again is much darker than what uh, you're seeing there. So I am excited to start that. Just a few more things. Speaking of Amanda May, 
I had been catching up with her channel. I watch um, Floss Tube alphabetically. That's what makes the most sense in my head. So sometimes um, it can be quite a while before I get back to a person because I'm subscribed to an awful lot of people. And I had many episodes of Amanda May to catch up on, which was great because then it feels like you're spending like a bunch of time with a friend, right? And But she is a big enabler for me. She enables me all the time. She also makes me want to do all the things, um, which is another reason why I made this pants. I was watching her and I was like, she just says everything. And I wanted to be like her. <laughs> but she was showing these Danish handcraft guild patterns and she got me. I had to hunt two of them down. The first one was uh, herbs and medicinal plants in cross stitch. And let's see. She showed this time, and that was it. I had to find it. I have a like herbal remedy chart over here that currently is surrounded by some Jenny beans and a couple of samplers and. Uh, a drawing of that looks like my cat Herbie um, but I was thinking I could stitch some of these herbs to put around that I think that would be pretty cool and I also got the Danish cross stitch zodiac sampler book I got this because it's some of them are really ridiculous it was just so weird and different and I really liked it here's the uh, Scorpio which is mine and where let's see and then mine's pretty normal here's the sagittarius which would be aaron again pretty normal but then the aquarius which would be quentin is not quite as normal i don't know what that glove or that boot is about but i i don't know I just had to, I had to. And this was uh, to Joan from Mom, remember 1981. So, I don't know if I'll stitch anything out of this, but I just thought it was super cool. <laughs> um, I placed an order with Cobweb Corner. I got the last, um, this is my first time ordering with them. Super great customer service. I got the last floss I needed for After the Roses. And I went there because, like I said, I had been watching uh, Brenda and Laura, and they showed this Hannah Hetherington by um, From the Heart, Needle Art by Wendy. And as you know, I well, if you've been with me, you know I love uh, blue samplers, and that was just like phew, gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They have it charted in either Dinky Dyes, Gloriana's, or Weeks. Um, and then, uh, DMC, and I'm not sure what, I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that quite yet. Uh, I also picked up The Mustard Door by The Good Housewife, another blue, the blue house, um, from Bush Mountain Citry. She does sometimes, like, uh, like little one-off sales on her Facebook. I picked up the Big Cat Stack 5 by Little by Little. And then just from, I don't know, probably from um, like a Facebook de-stash, I got the Summer House Stitch Works, Postcards from the Heart. This is Lark number three. And Tansy Cat uh, by Not Forgotten Farm. This was a July slash August slash September 2017 love kit. Alright, that's everything. Like 39 and a half minutes, that's not too bad. Um, I hope everybody has been well. Uh, things have been moving really fast in the world, at least that's the way it feels to me. Um, Maryland lifted its mask mandate. Um, which, even though, yes, I am fully vaccinated, I wasn't quite uh, ready for, I guess, ready for. Um, my work went to optional masks, and so now um, there are four of us that continue to wear them. I 
I just know that most of my coworkers are not vaccinated and it just makes me feel more comfortable. And I hope that, um, you know, if you feel comfortable wearing your mask that you continue to do so. Um, that's it, I guess. <laughs> I will um, see you all soon. Bye, love you.